هاي الا هاو ار يو هلا صارت المحاضره ما يبارك فيك اوكي let me take the attendance um Rama Yes I am here Okay great Iman Iman Haj Ali I am here prof Okay great um Thuraya Thuraya is here or not Okay, I I think it's not here. Um, uh, Juma. Um, Fada. Is not here too. Uh, Musab. Musab Sarmini, are you here? Okay, not here. Um, Lubna? Yes, I'm here. Okay, great. Abdul Ghani Skaf? Here. Okay. Um, Ahmed Rai? Ahmed? Okay. Uh, Asawir? <laughs> Sour is not here. Okay. Um, Ala Rashid. I'm here. Great. Uh, Asma Bilal. Yes. Okay. Sultan Badawi. Mahmoud Yassouf. Ahmed Hawash. Wa al Yasin and Wasal al Um, anyone? I didn't mention the name, or there is there anyone? I didn't mention his or her name. I'm here. Uh, my name is uh, Muhammad Anamus. Muhammad, what? Al-Namus. Muhammad Al-Namus, -Al right? So, uh, yes. is it the first time you attend? Uh, no. How many times you attend this lecture or this course? Uh, two or uh, three. Okay, Muhammad Al-Namus. Um, anyone else? I I think we have um some people joining. Noor uh, Nasrallah. Okay, no problem. Uh, well, let's begin our lecture just to make uh, a summary of the last one, last lecture. Uh, do you remember what we had last lecture? What we talked about last lecture? Did you remember? We, talk, we talked about title. Mm -hmm, great. And what else? Okay, concerning the title, do you remember the rule of title? Uh, when when do we capitalize the the initial letters in the title? 
yes. Um, any word except uh, proposition. Yes, great. Or um, and articles. Yes. Yes. Conjunctions like uh, or uh, coordinators. Okay, which are in the Arabic like haruf al atif right? So if yes. they if they come in the beginning like a proposition or conjunction or articles, uh, shall we capitalize the initial letter or not? Yes, yes. Well, if I said in the past, so shall we shall I capitalize I here in in? Yes. Why? Uh, because we started uh, in. Okay, because it comes in the beginning. Very good. Thank you, Rama. And uh, we talked about, also we talked about the four elements uh, to have a good paragraph. Do you remember those four elements? These are important. Uh, the element is uh, unity. Okay, uh, yes. Coher uh, coherence. Coherence, very good. Uh, order. Order and, and? And complemented. And? Complement. And completeness, right? Completeness, okay. Okay, okay, very good. Thank you, Lubna, right? Yeah, right. Okay, uh, what about the unity? Anyone? Anyone can answer this? What about the unity? What does it mean to have unity in my paragraph? That means uh, the paragraph uh, discusses one main. One main uh, one, what? Uh, one main point or... Um, idea, um, very good. Idea, yes. Excellent. Alle. So from the beginning to the end of the paragraph, we have to discuss only one and only one and only main idea. Okay, we can't, for example, talk about two main ideas because we will uh, get confused, and the paragraph will um, will not be unified. Okay. Uh, what about the coherence? What the meaning of coherence? How can I ch I achieve the coherence in my paragraph? We use uh, the uh, tra transition 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 word. transition yes transition uh, 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 like what? What are the transition words? Can you give me some examples? How are, uh, for example, uh, so and but uh, very good first, uh, last, uh, second, third. Because uh, uh, by these words, we move from one sentence to another. another. So in this way, can we can achieve coherence, and our paragraph can be coherent, right? Coherent is the adjective. And what is the another way? Um, to uh, achieve coherence. And re repeating uh, keywords. Repeating keywords, like the main word that I'm the talking main. about. Okay, for example, if I'm talking about uh, learning English, so I must repeat the word English, okay, because it is the core or the main um, word or the keyword of my paragraph, right? Right. Okay, what about the order? What's the meaning of order? Uh, refer to a way uh, uh, to uh, organize, organize uh, uh, support uh, sentences. Uh, what do you mean by supporting sentences? Is it in the introduction or in the body or in the conclusion? Uh, in the body. Very good, in the body. So I, I need to organize my uh, supporting sentences in the body. For example, yeah. I need to order them, order the sentences 
from less to most important or from most to less important. If I'm talking about, for example, uh, as we had as an, uh, as an example, advantages of owning or having a small car. So here I need to order the importance of the advantages or the positives of owning a small car. So I must, for example, uh, start with the most important point to the least important points or vice versa. Like, what's the meaning of vice versa? Yeah. Like the opposite thing, okay? The opposite idea. From the least important to the most important. This is one order. We can also achieve order of time that we can call it chronological order. For example, if I'm talking about a trip that I uh, had in the past, so I need to start from the point that I went into this trip till the end of this trip, okay? Like starting and during and the end of the trip. This is this means the order of time or chronological chronological order. What about the completeness? What the meaning of completeness? Completeness is to have my paragraph as complete unit, okay? Like to convey or to give a complete message, a complete idea. For example, I can't just tell um, the, the half of the idea, right? So I need to, to give the reader a complete message about uh, my topic. This is the completeness. Okay, we have some um, some new members. Uh, who joined recently? Can you introduce yourself, please? We have some new students, right? I think I think Nora Nur Nur is a new here. Okay, so this is the first time you attend. You're welcome. Okay. And we have Tehani is joining yet. Okay, no problem. Um, let's get our lecture. I will share the screen. Um, is it clear? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, great. I think last lecture we stopped here, right? Yes. Yes. Okay, great. Uh, let's have a model paragraph, like an example, to have some questions about it uh, to, uh, to confirm that we have uh, the four elements in the paragraph, which are the thing that you mentioned in the beginning, like the order, completeness, um, coherence, and unity, okay? And let's have um, analysis about this paragraph, about, for example, uh, the topic sentence, what is the topic sentence here, what are the supporting sentences, and what is the concluding sentence? At first, we need to uh, we need to read this text first and then answer the questions below. Yes, please. Who can read? Me. Yes, go ahead. 
people in the United States uh, celebrate New Year's if, uh, if in many ways. The uh, most common way is uh, going to, big uh, to a big party with many friends, music and dancing. At uh, the stroke uh, of uh, midnight, people at these parties grab their uh, sweethearts. No, sweethearts. Sweethearts. Sweethearts and spend uh, the first second of the new year with them. Another way to spend uh, New Year's if uh, is uh, with the uh, sign. Uh, sign percent uh, other in significant life. significant it means important significant significant okay. write it uh, please in your notebook significant mm -hmm. means important yes uh, other in your life the new year is uh, okay. Great. Thank you, thank you, Rama. Okay, uh, it's enough here. Yes, who can complete? Me. Yes, Me please go ahead. Me. The, go ahead. the new year is greeted with food and visit beverages. Food and beverages. Beverages. Mm -hmm. Beverages. To the relationship something families with child children likes to spend the evening together mm -hmm. letting the kids stay up until midnight finally some people like to spend the evening by the, themselves they themselves. use the, them, themselves themselves they use this time evaluate the past year evaluate, and make, evaluate evaluate the past year and to make resolution yes and plans for coming here mm -hmm. it is a time for ref, ref, Reflection, reflection that can only happen when when one is alone. In short, New Year's if it, if it is a special time that can be spent with friends, with families, or even alone. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, I will read it and explain some new words. Uh, people in the United States celebrate. What the meaning of celebrate? Ahtifal. Um, is, uh, is it here a, 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 ver a verb or a noun? No, a celebrate? Yes. No, a noun. Celebrate. No, no it's a yeah, verb. Different. It's a yeah, verb. Okay? Yes. Oh, um, uh, the word... Uh, the noun of it is celebration. I will write it Part, in the chat. Party. Celebrate. Celebration is the noun. Yeah. No, no. Verb. Celebrate. Okay, I don't know why I can't. Celebration is, uh, I, I'm writing in the chat bar. Celebration is a noun and celebrate is a verb. Okay. Celebrate. Sorry? Celebration, verb. Celebration is a noun. Ah, celebrate. Celebrate, celebrate here is a verb. Mm. Okay. Um, okay. United States, it's America, celebrate like to have a party, okay? Or to okay. have an event or occasion. What is occasion? Sorry? What is occasion? Occasion like event. Even. Okay, I'm explaining Hadassi the word. Yani? I'm explaining the word, yes. 
like to have Adas? yes mm. to have an event or occasion occasion like munasab okay it's it's similar to event yes um celebrate new year's eve what the meaning of eve uh, evening. Yes, so, it, uh, it's the evening or the night before an important so, day. It's an, an evening so, or a night before an um, important day, which is what is an important day, day here? It's a, it's a new year. Okay, like we say in Arabic, uh, for example, if I wait. If I want to say uh, Al Eid Eve, so it's Wafat uh, Eid. Eid Mubarak. No, no, Eve, it's like the evening or the night before an important day. Layl al Tisbuk al Yom al Muhammad. Hmm, I mean, I mean, example, I mean, I mean, Yes, if I say Al uh, Eid Eve, so it's mm. light. It's the day before, right before um, the Eve. important day. So celebrate New Year's Eve in many ways. Okay. So in this paragraph, I will talk about the ways that people celebrate in the New Year. Okay. The most common, what's the meaning of common? <laughs> in English, uh, please uh, try to famous, uh, famous, famous or known. Okay, or we can say um familiar. Okay, shall I write those words in the chat bar? Okay, I think it's they are easy, like um known, K N O W N, or um familiar, or famous. The most common way is going to be uh, is going to a big party, with many friends, uh, music and dancing. At the stroke of midnight, this is like an idiom which means like in the minute in the moment of the midnight because you know when when the uh, the time um is for example 12 zero zero it's a.m so this is the stroke of midnight so after 12 o'clock it will begin a, a new year Okay, so the, at the stroke of midnight, like in, in the moment of the midnight. Uh, people at these parties grab. What's the meaning of a grab? When you grab something, so you take it with your hand. It's similar to the word catch. Okay, for example, if you grab your baby or your your child your sweetheart so you catch it with your hand okay um their sweethearts sweethearts what's the meaning of sweethearts it is darling you know the word darling the person that you love azizi or hik Yes, like uh, the person that you in love with. Hey. Okay, sweethearts or darlings. And spend the first seconds of the new year with them. This is the first way of spending the New Year's Eve. Another way to spend the New Year's Eve is with the significant other in your life. What's the meaning of significant? Important. Important. important, very good. Significant means important. Uh, 
um the new year is greeted with food and beverages what the meaning of beverages drink drinks very good beverages uh, uh, it uh, combine both like hot and cold drink okay it's me it means in yeah. arabic like al mashrubat okay it's it is both uh, hot and yeah. uh, cold drink uh, is any difference between uh, drink or beverage no no the same but beverage is more formal okay <laughs> like we say in arabic like uh, mashrubat okay so it, it's yeah. both like a hot or cold drink it's the same as drink okay but it is more formal يعني رسمية أكثر okay uh, with uh, and it contains like beverage when I say beverage it contains like many types of drink for example hot cold okay okay um, to the relationship uh, sometimes Families with children like to spend the evening together, letting the kids stay up until midnight. What the meaning of stay up? For example, if يعني I say, to... sorry. يعني إنه يبق إنه بيضلوا صاحيين لبعد منتصف الليل. Yes, what what we say in uh, بالعامية. Let no, him uh, let him uh, or let their uh, for example, up? if I say uh, last night I stayed up late, what's the meaning? I stayed up late, what's the meaning? It means yeah, spirit. I mean, it's wrong, it's yes, very good. Very good, yes. I stay up late. Uh, it means when you don't go to bed at the time that you normally go to it. Okay. Um, stay up until midnight. Finally, um, this is the second way. Okay, a uh, third way. Um, finally, some people like to spend the evening by themselves. Yani alone. Okay, they use this time to evaluate. What's the meaning of evaluate? Evaluate means like to judge something. No, you can. Yes, very good. To judge something. Okay. Um, the words that I'm writing in the chat bar, please uh, write them down on your notebook, uh, because it's important to know many synonyms. Synonyms like the words that have the same meaning. Okay. Uh, or if I explain some words, uh, please uh, follow with me and write them in your notebook. Um, by themselves, they use this time to evaluate the past year and to make resolutions. What's the meaning of resolution? Uh, it means discussion. Decision. Decision. Okay. Decision like um قرار. Okay, resolutions, قرارات. Uh, and plans. It's similar to plans. خطط. For the coming uh, year, it is a time of reflection. What the meaning of reflection? What the meaning of reflection? It is it is careful. Um care careful thought. Okay. When you think, for example, you are thinking about something, so you have reflection, 
thought here means like tafkir. Okay. Um, that can only happen when one is alone. When you are, for example, alone. So uh, it is your time of reflection, time of thinking. Okay. In short, New Year's Eve is a special time that can be spent with friends, with families, or even alone. You see this conclusion? It is very important. Why? And it is very good. Because here we have a summary of all of the body. We talked about like um, that it is a special time that we can spend with, fam with the friends, number one. This is way number one. Way number two is to spend it with family. Way number three is to spend it alone. Um, this is what we discussed in the topic sentence. To have a celebration of the New Year's Eve in many ways. Okay? Is it clear? Do you have any question or any um, new vocab you want me to explain it? هنسيب بس الاس بكلمة question تلتفظ يعني احنا بالعادي كنا نقرأ question you, you mean this this word this yes 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 uh, if it singular so I say question uh, the, the last you mean the last s or the first one okay thanks you, you mean the the last one or first one, like this is, or is in the yes, in yes. the last. The first one. Yes, we say question, question. But when you speak fast, maybe it is not uh, not uh, clear so much. Okay. Okay, thank. Yes. Do you have any new vocabulary here? You you need to to have it explained. No, thank you. Is it clear, yes, uh, this uh, this paragraph? Can you uh, open the mute uh, in uh, Noor? Um, I, I didn't put a mute for Noor. Where is it, Noor? She can just uh, remove the mute and... Uh, uh, she didn't, she doesn't uh, share. Why? Uh, um, just I can uh, have asked to unmute, so she just uh, need to, to put like confirmation or just to make unmute and she can speak. Okay, I don't know what the problem with here, with her. Okay, uh, what is um, this text talking about? عن الاحتفال بعيد راس السنة اللي بال by English. Okay, English for sure. New Year Eve. Okay, hello again. Hello. hello. Okay, uh, we were having a text about what? Can you tell me? What does the text talk about? Uh, the text uh, talk about uh, the uh, how how people uh, in uh, United States celebrate uh, in a New Year Eve. Very good. How people celebrate the New Year in the United States. Uh, how many ways we we mentioned in the text? Ways of celebration. I mean, uh, three, three ways. Three ways. <laughs> Three ways. What is the first way? With friends. Alone. Celebration with friends. Friends. Celebrate alone. Friends or sweetheart. Okay. The second way. With families. With families. families. Kids. Yes. And the third one. Alone. Alone. Like spending the New Year's Eve alone. Okay, thank you so much. I will share the screen again.
Is it clear? Yes. Okay. Can you give me like a title for this text? New what Year's Celebration. New, New Year's Year Celebration. Celebration. Uh -huh. celebration. Celebration as sure. an right? Very good. Yes. New what Year's else? Eve. New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve. Very good. Or you can say ways to celebrate New Year's Eve. Okay, ways to celebrate New Year's Eve. Okay, all the suggestions that you you are having are accepted. Okay, um, let's analyze this text. What is the topic sentence? Give me the topic sentence, then refer to the topic and controlling idea, which is very important to know the difference between the topic and controlling idea. Yes, who can answer? First, give me this topic sentence, then uh, refer to the topic and controlling idea. Uh, people in the United States uh, celebrate la hadith many ways. Uh, topic sentence. Okay, this is the topic sentence, which must be a full sentence, right? Yes. Topic sentence must be a full sentence, like having... Um, a subject, verb, and complement. So, uh, Rama, what is the topic here and what is the controlling idea? What is the difference between topic and controlling idea? Can you tell tell me or um, I shall explain it? What is the difference between topic and controlling? Um, uh, um, topic, I... Um... A sentence. Um... Uh, the topic is the subject, right? The subject, yes. which is and the, uh, uh, very uh, general. Yes, uh, and controlling idea uh, is specific. Very good. Uh, and um, um, the co uh, control about um, uh, the uh, but. Um, the whole the paragraph, yes. right? Okay, yes. so the controlling idea, the thing that you choose to talk about the topic, because the topic is something general, but I need to choose only one idea, which is controlling idea, to talk about. For example, um, the if I want to say English, English, so it is a general topic. But if I choose just one controlling idea, one main idea to talk about English, so I will choose, for example, for example, learning English or uh, benefits of learning English or how to learn English. Okay, you see, we have very, um, um, very several like uh, controlling ideas. So we need to choose only one controlling idea, which is, for example, um, learning English. So English is the topic, which is general. And what do I choose here to talk about English? Learning. Learning this language. So learning is a controlling idea here. So referring to this topic sentence, people in the United States celebrate New Year's Eve in many ways. What is the topic here? And what is the controlling idea? Uh, the topic is uh, people in United States celebrate uh, a New Year's Eve. Mm. It's not like, yes. necessary to have a topic in the beginning and controlling idea oh. in, the, in the end of it. Okay. Uh, here you, you need to think about what is the something, what is the thing that is uh, general here? What is the subject? Uh, celebrate celebrate New will. Year. Celebrate. What is the topic here, which is uh, the most general one? Bo uh, people in the United States. Toby. So what is the controlling celebrate. idea? Celebrate. Celebrate topic. Topic celebrate. celebrate. 
What is the controlling idea? I think controlling idea is celebrate yes, New Year alcohol to big people in the United States. So are, are we talking here about the people or about the New Year's Eve? The New, New Year's Eve. Eve. New Year's Eve. So which one is the topic here? New Year's. New Year's Eve. Okay, what is the controlling idea? People uh, in the United States. Or many ways. Uh, yes, like celebrate in many ways. Yes. And we are talking about here like just people in the United States, not in every um, place in the world, right? So the topic here, which is uh, something general, okay? We can uh, choose many controlling ideas about this topic, which is here New Year's Eve, okay? New Year's Eve is the topic here. We can, for example, talk about many, many ideas about this topic. But here we choose just uh, people in the United States, how they celebrate <laughs> this Eve in many ways, right? Mm -hmm. Is it clear? Yes. So what yes. is the topic here? New Year's Eve. What is New the controlling Eve. idea? People in the United States. People in the United States. Celebrate, celebrate in many in ways. Many way. Okay, very good. Okay, mm. what about the supporting sentences? What are the supporting sentences? What they support? Uh, the supporting sentences, what do they support? Why we uh, call them yes. supporting sentences? Leshman Samil supporting sentences. Because they support what? Um, the topic sentence. Uh, the main idea. Great. The main idea or the topic sentence? Because the topic sentence is the same as main idea, right? So yes. because they support the topic sentence, we call them the supporting sentences. So all of these supporting sentences must support the topic sentence that mean uh that means we we cannot um for example go far from the topic sentence we must be in this domain in this idea okay which is the topic sentence so what are the supporting sentences here first one uh, the most common way is going to be Party with many friends, music and dancing. Okay, great. Uh, uh, this uh, yeah. is one, uh, a first one uh, supporting sentence. Okay, this is the first supporting sentence, right. What is the second supporting sentence? Another way to spend the New Year's Eve. Can you repeat the first one, please? The first supporting sentence is right after the topic sentence, okay? We have many supporting sentences, which are what? The ways of celebration, um, the New Year's Eve, okay? So we can consider all of these as supporting sentences, right? Because all of these supporting the topic sentence. In the topic sentence, we said that People celebrate in many ways. So here in the body, we mentioned the ways of people celebration the New Year's Eve. Right? All the body or sentences All the body. in the body? Yes, because the yes. supporting sentences is the same as body. Yani okay. They are synonym. Okay, and then Muradif Labado. When when I say supporting sentences, the same if I say the body. Okay. Okay, okay great. So uh, what about the concluding sentence? Can you give me the concluding sentence? And uh, can you give me about 
Um, in short, to, till the end, right? In short, new years. So, what the technique or the way of writing the concluding sentence? What I mentioned in the concluding sentence? Uh, in short. Impo yes, in, yes, in short, but what the idea the that... The main idea. The main idea, yes. What else? Uh, the, the summary is the, the main idea. Okay, a summary. A summary or a main idea, yes. What else? What I... Uh, I mentioned important in point in the important point in the paragraph. Important point in the paragraph. Yes. What else? Uh, the way uh, uh, the way is the uh, the way people uh, is celebrate the ways that people ways celebrate. celebrate. Okay. So here I I um, mentioned the ways, which are three ways, right? So yeah. here I summarized or summed up, okay, sum up like summarize, summarized all the ideas that I mentioned in the body, right? Right. So it is both summarize uh, what I mentioned in the body, and it is very similar to the topic sentence, right? If you uh, have a look at the topic sentence and have a look at the concluding sentence, so they are talking about the same idea, right? So I can write a, a concluding sentence the same as topic sentence, but in different words, okay? We call this technique like to restate Restate إعادة صياغة. Okay. أعيد صياغة the topic sentence but in different words. يعني يعني I'm talking about the same idea but in different words. بكلمات مختلفة. Okay. Uh, you remember the hamburger? We have two yes. buns, right? Two breads. Two pieces of bread. So uh, the first bread, which is the topic sentence, and the last bread, which is uh, the concluding sentence. So they are the same. They are s very similar. Right? Right. Okay, great. Um, so what about question number four? Does the paragraph have the essential four elements? Does the paragraph have the essential four elements? The four elements, the things that we had um, last lecture, Four elements, unity, coherence, order, and completeness. I will give you five minutes in order to uh, answer this what? Okay. Answer this question, please, on your notebook for about five minutes. I will give you five minutes. Uh, talk about the unity, how we achieve unity in this text, how we achieve coherence, how we have order, and how we have completeness. Okay, talk about those four essential elements, uh, how we achieve them in this text. Is it clear? No. Yes. What do you mean of coherence? Uh, who said no? Uh, no. Mahmoud. Mahmoud, uh, Mahmoud yes, okay, uh, didn't you understand what, what I said? Yes, not understand. Okay, did you attend the last lecture? Did you attend the last lecture? Mahmoud? Yes, yes. Yes. Okay, so here in this page number nine, uh, we talked about the four elements, which are unity, coherence, order, completeness. How we have those elements in a paragraph to be good, to be a good paragraph. Okay, so how we achieve those four elements in question number four, how we achieve, كيف حققنا those four elements in this paragraph. 
tell me about the unity how we achieve unity okay you can just um make revision to the those elements to uh to be familiar with how for example we achieve unity uh for example did we discuss one main idea or multi ideas like many ideas how we achieve coherence in this text for example did we uh, choose or um use a transition words repeating keywords okay this like this is it easy or difficult okay you will talk you want to talk about this paragraph how we achieve the four elements in this paragraph is it clear Is it clear or not? Hello, is it clear? Yes, yes. Okay, yes, so it's clear. Very good, great. So I uh, have five minutes in order to answer question number four. Okay, see you after five minutes.
Okay, have you finished? Have you finished? Have you finished question number four? No. Not yet? Yes. Okay. Um, have two minutes extra. Okay, have you finished? Can I answer? Yes, uh, please. Lubna, go ahead. Uh, unity is uh, the ways of uh, people uh, celebrate in the uh, United States uh, in New Year's uh, Eve. Okay, so where is the unity? What's the meaning of unity and how we achieve unity here? Um, unity is uh, way, uh, the ways uh, of uh, people celebrate. Okay, so uni unity, Lubna, means like to discuss uh, or to talk about uh, how many ideas? How many ideas we talk about in order to uh, achieve that's, uh, unity? Three, three ways. Main, okay, so is it here uh, a main idea, one main idea, or many ideas? That um, uh, one. Okay, so one very good. Idea. So, um, did 
the text achieve unity or not? Um, achieve unity? Yes. Yes. Did it, yes. Very good. So it did. Yes. Yes, yes it did. But one one idea. It's very one good. idea. Because the text, uh, because the text discusses only one main idea, which is the ways of celebration. Right. Uh, uh, I think uh, I uh, write the uh, the uh, no first uh, sentence. No, no, okay. just you can answer by like this okay. way, okay? You can say um, the text okay. achieved unity because it discusses only one main idea, okay. which is, you can just like open brackets, brackets like aqwas, qawsain, and uh, you can say um, it discusses only one main idea uh, between two brackets, you can say ways of celebration. This is okay. the only and one main idea. Thank you, Lubna. Uh, well, what well, about, well. yes, that's Thank enough, you. Lubna. Uh, let me take another one. Uh, what about the coherence? How uh, did the text achieve coherence? Yes, who can answer? Yes. Uh, yes, the paragraph, the paragraph hold uh, together and move from one sentence to the next uh, next one in logical and uh, smooth. The writer used linking uh, or transition, uh, transition words. Transition, such yes, very as, good. Uh, such as another way, finally, in short. And there is a repeating keywords, uh, New Year's Eve. 100%, great, thank you, Rama. So the coherence uh, achieved here because the uh, the writer um, like has the movement or moves from one sentence to another by a logical and smooth way. So uh, it achieved coherence by two ways, okay, that we discussed last lecture, you remember, which are transition words and repeating keywords. So what about transition words here that, that are used? We have, for example, um uh, uh we have sometimes we have finally we have in short okay Th those are uh called linking words or transition words the another way that the you the writer used to achieve coherence which is their beating keywords what is, what is the keywords here uh, it is new year's eve okay so he mentioned uh this uh, repeating words many times in order to focus on the coherence. Thank you, Rama. What about the order? Did the text achieve order or not? Anyone can answer? What's the meaning of order? You remember last time we talked about order of importance? and chronological order. So what type of order here that is achieved? Is it there order is of time or order of importance? Order of importance, it's a logical uh, order. Very good, great. So um, he order or organize his ideas logically, right? So he, for example, started with the, the most to the least important for example from the most important which is um celebration with the friend then he moved to celebration with family then he moved to celebration alone so he achieved logical order okay great what about completeness all of the of sentence in paragraph talk about new year's eve Okay, so did the writer convey, convey like uh, to transform or uh, to give? Did the writer convey a complete message or is there something that is uh, incomplete? No. Uh, incomplete. No, okay. it's complete. So the, the writer conveyed a complete message. So you have at the end of no. this 
uh, in this paragraph, you have a complete idea, right? Of ways of celebration. Right? Yes. Okay, yes. great. So, uh, talking about the four elements, unity, coherence, order, and completeness, um, if you want to write any paragraph, you need to have those four elements in your mind, okay? In order to have a good paragraph. Is it clear? Yes, yes it's clear. Uh, huh? But I, I can't understand what mean order. Order, it means uh, when you organize your ideas, okay? Either order of importance or order of time. Okay, order like a tartib, which is logical order, tartib mantqi. You need to move from one sentence or one idea to another in a logical order. For example, you are talking about learning English. Okay, so you need to organize your ideas from the most important to the least important. من الأكثر أهمية إلى الأقل أهمية or vice versa بالعكس from the least important to the most important. I prefer to go with the first one, which is the most important to the least important. من الأكثر أهمية إلى الأقل which is mean which means here order of importance. Okay, which is logical order or order of time of if you are talking about for example, uh, how you had a birthday, for example, how you, how, how you had a birthday party. So you need to tell us this uh, experience or this story in order of time. You need to go from the beginning and during the birthday party and till the end of this party. How, for example, uh, you prepare to this party. Okay, this is called order of time. Is it clear, Iman? Yes, yes, clear, Prof. Thank you. Okay, okay great. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Yes, do you have any question? Yes, uh, can you repeat uh, um, the idea of compl uh, complaints, uh, how writer uh, achieve it? Completeness, for example, uh, yes. um, when you have a complete message, a complete idea. You yes. don't feel that um, there is something that is uh, not enough, okay? Mm -hmm. Or there is something that is incomplete. Uh, you don't mm -hmm. feel at the end of this paragraph that you have a, a missing thought, okay? You feel mm -hmm. at the end of the paragraph, uh, you have like a full image of this topic, okay? Mm -hmm. You then you don't have any missing idea, okay? Missing idea mm -hmm. like fikra mafkude, okay? Uh, you will uh, understand the whole uh, idea or the whole message of the paragraph. Okay, tamam. Okay, so thank you so mu so much. We are running out of the time. Um, please take as homework or assignment. To, uh, to write about an, a special time that you have either with your family or with your friends, okay? Write a paragraph about a special time. Is it, a, for example, it's a party or a trip or something uh, you have spent with uh, your family or your friends, okay? Uh, thank you so much and see you, inshallah, next lecture.